patients preferred ChatGPT over their physician 79% of the time. This guy created Jarvis from Iron Man. Now he gave it eyes. This is a new AI robot by Agility Robotics. Texturing a 3D model has never been easier. They now have a FinChat, which is ChatGPT, but for finance. This guy made WebGPT, which enables you to run GPT models entirely in your browser. OpenAI is rolling out browsing for ChatGPT Plus users. ChatGPT has its own compression algorithm that works insanely well. Patients preferred ChatGPT over their physician 79% of the time. Look, A is quality rating. So you can see very poor, poor, acceptable, good, very good. And you can see chatbot has a very high quality rating and most of it landing under good, while physicians is acceptable to good and some of them actually doing poor and very poor. Now on the B side here, you can see empathy ratings while Actually, the chat pot was more empathetic and sometimes very empathetic and it never was not empathetic while physicians landed at the highest level around not empathetic and slightly empathetic. Like literally half of them or more was just not empathetic at all. So imagine the potential implications of this, right? Faster, more accurate diagnoses for patients, greater accessibility to healthcare information in remote areas, reduced workload for overburned healthcare professionals, and personalized health advice accessible 24-7. Healthcare is a $3 trillion business. And if ChatGPT is gonna take half, that's $1.5 trillion. This guy created Jarvis from Iron Man. Now he gave it eyes. I played around with an experiment to give GPT-4 vision. Okay, cool. Hello everyone, it's me. So as you can see, we are getting some object detection. So you can see it's saying like my beanbag behind me is a couch. It's got my chair, it's got me. And you hook it up to the internet, you hook it up to your webcam. So let's, let's run through this, mm -hmm. check this out. First object. Yes. What object am I holding? You are holding a can of Diet Coke. Yes. Hey. How many calories does it have? Wow. Searching the web. Okay. Searching, Searching the, web. the web. and give us a result. Diet Coke doesn't have any calories. <laughs> Who is this guy? Tell me a little bit about him. Wow. Searching the web. Can you Should believe be that? Right. That's John Wick right there. Or Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Those are some incredible use cases. I just really hope that we can use it to find Waldo. OpenAI is rolling out browsing for ChatGPT Plus users. So now there has been reportedly people getting this pop up here. You can just click on default GPT 3.5 with browsing. To get access is when you try to sign up for the waitlist, you wanna click on I wanna try plugins in ChatGPT and not I am a developer. Because what happens then is you can actually click the browsing plugin and get access to it. Compared to if you click I am a developer, you need to go through another waitlist. Take a look at this. This is a new AI robot by Agility Robotics. Out on a nice spring day, now this bot is made for work. So they are creating a robotic automation that helps customers that has big warehouses in more intricate scenarios. Of course, we have robots with four wheels. However, this is designed for where there's people involved and it needs to walk around other people. They claim that our robots are more like a person than a stereotypical rigid robot that makes for a more effective robot in a world built for people. It can move boxes, it can unload trailers, and it can even do last mile delivery. In my honest opinion, 
This freaks me out. ChatGPT has its own compression algorithm that works insanely well. Look, if you give it this text right here, which is around 3,500 words, you can see it's huge, right? You can then ask it to compress that text and it ends up looking like this. This is obviously not able to get read by any human because it's all symbols and letters and even emojis here. But what's really cool is that you can ask it to decompress and it turns into the exact text that we started off with. Such an amazing use case. It's basically like a magician that can pull an encyclopedia out of a hat. Texturing a 3D model has never been easier. With CGM Graybox, you could use Stable Diffusion, frame your shot in the projection camera, and then hit Generate. Here we have batch count set to four, so we get four options generated off of our mesh. Let's pick this one. Projection works on multiple meshes in the scene. On second thought, let's generate a couple more. Okay, this one looks pretty good. Let's set it as our projection. So let's reframe the shot and start bringing back those details. We need to readjust our depth sliders for this new camera position. And let's adjust the prompt a little bit to make sure we're getting the skull. And now generate. Now we have four more options to choose from. Oh let's go with this goodness. one. And bake the projection to just the skull mesh. Now let's get a detail for the chest plate. We'll just reframe our projection camera for a good full view of it. Adjust the prompt so the image generator knows what to focus on. And we'll set the image to image pass to composite which will render the current pass with its color information. We set the resolution to 1024 by 1024, so now the generated oh image is significantly God. more detailed. Let's assign this one as the projection. <laughs> we also have a few other options to choose from, but the first one looked pretty good. Now let's bake the new projection onto the helmet and chest plate, and adjust the projection layers in the Edit tab so the new projection takes priority. Now let's do a test render to see what we have. The chest plate and helmet are looking Are you kidding me? Pretty good. Now we could go on to detail the rest of the model. I've personally done a lot of 3D modeling. To me, this is nothing short of magic. They now have a FinChat, which is ChatGPT, but for finance. FinChat is a generative AI tool that will provide you with information on 750 plus companies and 100 plus super investors. It is your powerful equity analyst assistant. So here you can see he's writing about Disney Plus subscribers and immediately it has 164 million paid subscribers of October 2022. Unlike traditional ChatGPT, FinChat is trained on up-to-date financial data, earnings cal transcriptions, quarterly plus annual reports, 13 Fs, investing books, granular business KPIs with sources. If it were a superhero, it would be called Captain Capital Gains. And its superpower is that it can predict the exact moment that you'll give up on your budget. This guy made WebGPT, which enables you to run GPT models entirely in your browser. Here's why this is a big deal. WebGPT is just four JavaScript files, no installations, no libraries, just 1000 lines of vanilla JavaScript. Soon, every device in the world can run models just by clicking a link no friction, amazing interoperability. But why does this matter? Well, you can preserve privacy, instant latency, cost less, basically free, add next level autocomplete into your website, easily fine tune GPT on your private data, crowdsource distributed model training across thousands of devices. If you're interested, it's all 100% open sourced on GitHub. There's a link down below. Canva just partnered with DID so you can get AI avatars easily in Canva. DID's AI presenters have arrived in Canva. Thanks to this new integration, millions of Canva users can now quickly and easily add AI presenters to all of their creations. Just click on the app and start creating. From stunning presentations to jaw-dropping social media posts, we are giving creators new superpowers. Use DID in Canva to create more exciting and engaging videos with lifelike AI presenters that you control. Size, placement, background color, language, and voice are all adjustable. 
Fasten your seatbelts and unlock the future of visual design today with DID and Canva. DID has been one of my favorite turning images into speaking characters. So it's such a convenience for Canva users to be able to plug into this technology.